What's up everybody, it's Joe from JLTB Games coming at you with another cool video back in Planet Coaster, of course, Anero Valley. And today we get to the next episode of uh, this uh, amazing park. So what we're going to be doing today is filling in this right side of the entrance plaza with a new building, uh, which is going to be kind of an interesting building. It's going to be it's going to be called the um, Arrow Hall, and it's going to be pretty much a building full of like different uh, food uh, items and it's gonna have some restrooms inside of it and it's gonna be something kind of different uh, that I thought would be kind of cool to have at the entrance of the park and it's going to um, it's pretty much gonna have a lot of different food uh, choices on the inside and it's gonna be kind of neat um, I don't really get into uh, design or actually doing interior design that much so I do a little bit but um, I don't end up doing a lot now this episode is going to be kind of a little bit of a uh, almost a disappointing episode for me uh, rather I thought that the entrance plaza turned out great at the in the end after all this is uh, completed but um, <clears throat> I do a lot of uh, deleting in this episode and uh, because I'm not satisfied with something uh, and you're going to be seeing that quite a bit in this episode that I'm just like I don't like how that looks. I'm going to delete it and start over. And you already started, saw, saw that at the beginning already, me deleting like the pathway and everything like that. So um, kind of interesting of how this is all going to play out because I want to make sure everything's realistic as possible. And uh, I make a lot of kind of errors uh, in my work here. And uh, I feel like this building could have done a little bit better. I could have done a little bit more with this building. And I still might go back to it and actually work on this building a little bit more. And um, there's a lot of pointless parts in this episode because I end up deleting like um, 30 minutes work of different things. So <clears throat> you're going to see a lot of different things like that uh, in this episode, uh, unfortunately. So, um, uh, you know, but I do want to make sure this is going to be the best possible park that it can be. And... Um, if I'm not satisfied with something, um, I'm not going to go through with it. I'm going to delete it and uh, try again. So it's going to be kind of one of those things. Now, there's just so much to do um, with this building that I was kind of panicking in a way because I wanted to get to the inside of the park, and I got a little bit too excited, I think. And um, I don't want that to happen. And the, that's kind of an issue that I've kind of been going into with uh, a lot of my parks with is that I just want to move on to the inside of the park and get to the the fun stuff you know with the roller coasters and everything but I got to remember that I need to slow down and just you know build uh, very detailed and uh, make sure that everything is to my liking before I move on uh, that's gonna be that's like the biggest challenge for me is just pretty much patience uh, before I get into anything so Again, this is going to be kind of like a food hall, kind of. I, I was thinking about adding some more food stalls, but I, I just end up with these four right now. And then, of course, there's some restrooms in the back of the uh, in the back of the, the building. And I was thinking about making multiple levels. So actually having a second level as well with more uh, different food objects, items as well. Uh, it just kind of depends um, how all that turns out. But... Um, I, I still might go in and alter this building just a little bit more, but uh, a lot of people said, you know, you should have restrooms and stuff like that, uh, so um, I actually recorded this quite a uh, while, about a week ago probably, or, you know, I think I recorded it the same day I uploaded the last episode, so I'm actually recording the voiceover quite a long time afterwards, and um, uh, again, I apologize that uh, the episodes aren't coming out as fast as I would hope. Uh, I know you guys are very excited every time an uh, episode comes out, and uh, I appreciate that uh, enthusiasm. You guys are very excited, and so am I as well. Um, but now I'm starting to move into work uh, six days a week right now because uh, where I, I'm actually staffed at, where I work at, um, we've only got like five people, and I need at least like eight to nine, and I'm only able to get one day off. Um, because we're so understaffed so I'm working six days a week right now which is you know good for paycheck wise and it'll help me pay off my uh, graphics card a little bit faster when it comes in so um, again uh, I don't have my graphics card just yet uh, the 1080 Ti that I've been talking about and I'm so excited about it. should be coming in in the next couple days though um, I think they said the 11th of this month 
uh, is when they're and when it's expected to come in, which will be really cool. Uh, I'm very excited to see how that's gonna uh, affect everything, and I'm hoping that my uh, computer can handle it. And uh, again, I, I upgraded my power supply, and um, uh, hopefully that will be. It won't need uh, nothing else upgraded to, you know, for, to have good performance, rather. Um, I'm thinking about um, go ahead and adding on some more more RAM to my computer as well to maybe help out with that as well. Um, but we'll see. RAM is pretty pricey as well, and um, that's, that's going to be my next upgrade probably for my PC. And uh, that's going to be um, <coughs> maybe further down the line. It might be sooner than I think, but we'll see. Um, I'm just excited to upgrade my PC and get uh, some new stuff into it, and hopefully uh, maybe even making these a little bit more higher quality as well. So the neat thing is that uh, I'm waiting uh, for that graphics card before I make the you know cinematic video of Westwood and everything, so I know a lot of people are looking forward to the Westwood videos, but just hold on for a little bit longer, and I'm going to you know hopefully have those very soon after I get my graphics card installed, I'm going to be, <coughs> excuse me, getting right into those. Um, I haven't completely got my cough uh, gone yet, so um, just bear with me on that a little bit. And I'm trying to hold back as much as I can so I don't cough right into the microphone. But uh, again, I try to work a little bit on the interior of the, of the building, but um, again, I'm not very good on interior. And I prefer to just work mostly on exterior because you're not really going to see the inside of these buildings very often anyways, really. Uh, unless of course you walk into them, but uh, I do my best to make it somewhat decorated on the inside, but um, I'm not much on uh, doing much interior work, even though I like to do some sometimes, but um, we'll see, we'll see, I might do some later, but um, the next episode of this uh, series most likely will be more of a detailing episode. I want to go back and detail the buildings a little bit more and just the entrance area a little bit more, the entrance plaza. Um, I feel like they need a little bit more detail and you guys thought so too. A lot of people are saying that uh, I need to detail the buildings a little bit more and that they're a little bit boring. And um, as much as I don't completely agree with that, you know, um, you know I'm going to try and uh, make them a little more interesting as well. Uh, I'm doing my best to make sure not all the buildings look the same. So I'm using a lot of different wall textures and uh, different things like that to try and get a better ver variety. I'm using a lot of stucco walls, um, but I'm um, trying to make sure they have different colors and different shades of kind of like that tan and maybe some brown in, in there as well. <clears throat> But my goal is to make it look a little bit more modern uh, than what you were probably used to. So um, it's generic, but it's going to have some of, a lot of the buildings are going to give you a more of a modern feel to them. So that's going to be kind of a neat, <coughs> excuse me, little thing right there. So I'm very excited to uh, get that uh, kind of theming out there. So it's going to be, uh, a lot of the buildings are going to be very modern, and I'm very excited for that. A lot of people have already pointed that out, that the buildings are... Uh, got a lot of modern too. They're very modern. <laughs> I've said modern like a kajillion times within a minute. So, you know, that's going to be like a new world record or something like that. But uh, very, very cool. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I need to. I'm just going to go in and detail uh, the buildings a little bit more. This building in particular needs a little bit more attention, I think. Uh, because I think I kind of panicked a little bit of what to do on this building because I was still kind of undecided of what I was going for in a way and that kind of affected it a little bit but it needs a little bit more love and care to it and I think it will turn out cool so um <clears throat> but I'm gonna go ahead and go back into this area and uh, do a lot of detailing because we do get into uh, the actual park which I just hit my mic which was Probably not very good, but um, I'm going to go back in uh, because we actually get into the park itself uh, in this episode, uh, the very entrance. We don't really get much and, <clears throat> excuse me, but uh, you'll see kind of where the direction that it's going here in just a little bit. So um, the entrance of the park is going to be very kind of, in, of course, inspired. By, you'll, you'll definitely see that it's inspired by Kings Island quite a bit. But I'm going to make it as different as possible, if that makes sense. You know, when, you do, when you're inspired by something and you use it as inspiration, you don't want to mimic it, like completely, you know, use that design. You know, you want to make it 
similar because it's inspired, but you want to make it original at the same time. So if that makes sense, you know, you want to make it yours and, um, you know, not a complete recreation at the same time. So that's kind of like what uh, I'm doing for a lot of these buildings and parks. Uh, this building was strictly not ins really inspired by anything, and I think that kind of took a hit on it because I was not inspiring it off of anything so it just kind of was thrown together so I need to come back to this building and work on the exterior just a little bit more um, because again <coughs> I don't want if I ever if I'm ever dissatisfied by uh, a building or something I'm gonna either, either start over delete it or just kind of um, uh, work with it a little bit more so that's gonna be that and <coughs> excuse me uh, a couple of other things I want to work on on this area maybe is actually make some backstage areas where you know some employ employee only spots maybe back behind some of these buildings I think that'd be kind of a neat little feature to uh, add to it and make sure that it looks as realistic as possible you know because there's gonna be those backstage areas where only um, employees are gonna have access to which is gonna be a nice little touch for a lot of these and uh, it's going to be really, really neat, and I've been wanting to do that for quite a while in these parks. So um, I want to make sure those are kind of present and uh, actually still there. So that will be that will be that and everything like and everything like that. You guys seem to really like this series. Like I'm very ex uh, um, excited because um, each episode has gotten over a thousand views so far, and that's actually really amazing. You know, most they don't usually get a thousand views. You know, maybe the first episode I understand, but like, you know, all the way through the fourth episode, uh, it's a thousand plus views, which is actually really cool, and I'm very excited about that. So, um, another neat thing to note, um, not to mean be kind of bragging about myself or anything like that, um, at my work, I actually see, or there's actually people that recognize me at least once to twice a week. Uh, there's actually one of you guys actually coming out to the park and actually recognizing me, which is actually kind of awesome you know because I love actually meeting you guys in real life and actually seeing uh, some of those comments uh, you know you see those you see the comments and everything but you don't know what they look like you know you know you don't know what people look like you know seeing them in real person is actually very special to me because um, I just love seeing that again if you're ever around uh, where I work and actually see me you know don't hesitate to say hi or anything just just don't just go up and say hi to me. <laughs> Even if I am, if I look like I'm busy working, like I'm not ever busy working. Like I'm just having fun, of course. <laughs> that's that's what I do at work, is I just have fun, <laughs> uh, of course. But um, <coughs> a lot of you, uh, there's a couple of you saying that I'm kind of overdoing it with these green bushes uh, at the same time, but uh, I don't think so. I like the way they look in like plazas and stuff. Um, I think they are kind of unique and everything, or not really unique, but they add, uh, it kind of look, makes it look a little more grassy, and that's kind of like the feel that I'm kind of going for. I want to make sure everything looks very pretty and nice, and uh, you know, you can never have too much bushes and uh, trees, and that's like literally my motto. <laughs> this is a JLW park. You're going to have trees and bushes, of course. Maybe not as much in this park, but you're going to be seeing them still, you know. <clears throat> it's a JLW park. There's going to be a lot of that stuff in, inside. So that's going to be, that's one thing that I like to note is that there's always going to be trees in this park. But <clears throat> anyways, the air hall, I didn't, I didn't like again, I, I'm not completely disappointed with this building. It just needs a little bit more to it. And uh, that's kind of like the thing. So to light things up, a good tip that I will, uh, I've actually seen before is uh, to actually sink some of those area lights down under the ground and it just helps light the area up just a little bit more. Sometimes you like to put those under um, actual different lampposts as well to make it look like it's actually lighting more up in the area, which is uh, quite nice because I hate having to put like a kajillion lampposts everywhere. Uh, just to light up like a small amount of space. It's kind of a little bit of annoyance, but it's okay. So anyways, we're going to, oh, maybe the next episode, um, <clears throat> we're going, uh, well, I already said what the next episode, we're going to be really detailing and finishing up uh, the entrance plaza. That's going to be my goal. So um, we're just going to really just be focusing on that a lot. And uh, then we'll be getting into 
hopefully the entrance of the park where there's going to be kind of like this main street where there's going to be a lot of different shops and everything. That's going to be kind of a little bit of a time consuming spot as well. And I know a lot of people want me to get to the rides and roller coasters. I know it's always a thing that everyone tries to push and rush onto. But trust me, just stick with me, bear with me. <coughs> Excuse me, that, um, you know, I don't want to rush anything. We're going to just go building by building and move on through there. And the, the rides will come. There's going to be a lot of rides in this park. So, uh, but there's also going to be lots of detailing, you know. Even though there's not a lot of theming present in this uh, park, there's going to be a lot of details towards just little buildings and things like that. So it's going to be kind of cool. So uh, I again, I want to touch up on the entrance a little bit as well. I think it needs a little bit more detail. It's kind of bland uh, compared to some of the other buildings in the entrance plaza. And that can't be the case because, you know, it's the entrance. It needs to be... You know, it's it's the first thing the guests see kind of right before they go into the park. <clears throat> and that's very important because, um, you know, if it doesn't look awesome and majestic and amazing looking, you know, guests are going to be kind of like, oh, this is going to be an okay park. You know, no, we want them to walk up to that entrance and go, wow. You know, and a lot of people, of course, have been commenting saying, you know, uh, about an entrance coaster and everything like that. The entrance uh, coaster that goes over the entrance or something like that, but um, <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to do that um, just yet in this park, if I end up doing it at all, um, but uh, if I do, it's going to be probably more of a future expansion type thing more than anything, so that's something to just kind of think about, uh, so it's not going to be, you know, something that I'm, it's not on my to-do list that I'm going to absolutely do, it's going to be something that I might add someday down the line. So that's going to be a cool thing. So I want to add like a lot of different lighting for the entrance and everything. Because I think, I think that's very important. Of course, at night you want this to look very fantastic. And uh, that, those little red lights at the entrance I thought was kind of a neat little uh, thing to add. So I wanted to try to add maybe some lighting on, you know, the like projection screen here. Um, I was a little bit unsure but if that, how this would turn out and didn't turn out so well so I think I'm just going to keep it blank uh, for right now unless I can really think of something clever to put something on on it so um, for, but for right now that's how that's going to uh, turn out again I did a lot of trial and error in these episodes and um, uh, a lot of stuff didn't turn out the way I wanted so uh, another thing to note that a lot, someone said I needed to probably raise the ceiling of the entrance a little bit more uh, maybe uh, you're probably true on that just a little bit. I probably need to raise it a little bit more, but um, guests aren't going to be walking through it. I can tell that it's high enough that guests aren't going to be, faces aren't, or heads aren't going to be walking through it, but um, it could possibly still be a little bit higher. Um, but then again, I don't know. Uh, we'll see, we'll just see on, on that. So I'm actually uh, a good way to actually see if, you know, um, if something's uh, proportions are g good enough is actually place one of the animatronic guys and just because uh, they're as big as a normal human in the game so um, it's nice to use them as a reference sometimes so here we are finally inside the park I know it's been forever we are finally in here though we're finally in here and you can also automatically see what I'm gonna be doing here and this is gonna be kind of inspired by Kings Island kind of a smaller scale fountain of Kings Island is what I'm gonna be kind of going for here but it's going to be different I will say that you know it's a little bit smaller scaled and it's gonna have uh, some cool water effects in there which I try to get to but I just could not figure out exactly what I wanted so I don't end up getting around to that completely so um, that's gonna be kind of an interesting thing you know I was looking at Kings Island's fountain a little bit uh, and I want it <coughs> excuse me to be inspired by that but um it's going to be kind of interesting so um i got i had to you know do, do a lot of scenery stuff to kind of cover up of course the uh um the terrain and everything so that ugliness isn't showing <laughs> of course and uh just kind of like king's island i want to not have a nice beautiful centerpiece <coughs> you know at the end of this mountain excuse me and um it's not going to be an Eiffel Tower, don't worry. I'm not going to actually make this King's Island. So I know I've been inspiring a lot of stuff off of King's Island, you know, parking lot, different things like that. But it's definitely going to look a lot different. And I don't want anyone to worry that this is going to look too close to it. 
it's actually going to have its own perks and different things like that. So again, I don't go really into detail and depth into the entrance right here at the very start, you know. But I wanted something that's going to really stand out, you know. <clears throat> and I, I and something I just love King's Island's entrance with the fountains and the Eiffel Tower centerpiece and everything. Because it really is that centerpiece of the park. Uh, and I want something similar, but not necessarily an Eiffel Tower, obviously. I want something original. And, um, you know, I want to make the fountain you know, the a lot different as well. Uh, because I started getting to the point where I was trying to mimic it a little bit too much at one point. And I was like, wait, no, I'm getting a little bit too close to Queen's Island. But um, I do kind of realize it myself and uh, kind of fix that. So I make this little sidewalk uh, to, to just to cover up this... Um, terrain it actually turns out pretty good um you know i just need to add some nice little details maybe some like fake um benches and that different things like that you know because it can't actually connect to the uh, the benches can't actually connect to the regular path because they're not on the path so um if that makes sense not really but <coughs> but uh i cover it up and it looks pretty good uh it just needs a lot of water fountains and different things like that which i try to get into but again, um, I wasn't very satisfied of what I was going for, so I, I need to try and find some inspiration for different kinds of fountains. And that's kind of one of the things I kind of got stumped here on, was kind of like creating uh, some effects and everything like that. So we'll see how all that works out. But um, uh, it, I w really wish I could somehow trigger these and make like a water show. I think that'd be very cool eventually. I don't know if that would be ever be possible and uh, and playing a coaster someday but to actually make like a water show would be actually really really cool i think that would actually be like one of the coolest things that i could do because uh having a water show in this would be actually very very freaking awesome and i'm just gonna put that out there you know you know you walk in the entrance and you know you have this water show maybe add some like fire effects as well it would be really cool so if you could actually use some of these effects and like a uh, you know, kind of like what you did in RCT3 with the fireworks, kind of, and um, <coughs> that'd be very, very neat. And I know a lot of people have been requesting stuff like that, you know, fireworks and uh, different uh, different shows like that. That would be actually really cool. I don't know if I'm going to keep these lampposts yet. Um, they could kind of out of place, but um, and just not very great, but we'll kind of see how that works. So here I'm just sitting still, I'm looking at some reference photos at um, I believe uh, of Kings Island and everything so I was just kind of trying to figure out what I was going to do and they have like these little fountains on the inside and this is the point where I was like well no I'm getting a little bit too close to it. I want to make something more original and um, I tried different things again this episode's kind of very sloppy and um, uh, I wasn't very proud of my work in this episode um, but I'm going to fix all that probably in the next episode that's that's going to be my goal anyways but, um, <clears throat> and a lot of people keep asking, you know, do you have an upload schedule? When's the next episode going to come out? I don't exactly know. It's a very hard thing to answer because, um, I don't have a schedule of how it works. It's just whenever I can have time to actually get around to recording and everything. So that's kind of an interesting thing. And, um, I really want to get more in depth into the channel and actually add some more stuff because I feel like I've been kind of absent from a lot of different series and uh, some of those would be um uh you know the uh the day in the life of a theme park operator and that one i kind of want to get back into i've only made two episodes and a lot of people seem to enjoy those but i kind of wanted to upgrade them a little bit more before i moved on and um <coughs> which is <coughs> something really neat so um and just other series like you know central ridge hasn't been back in quite a long time I maybe try and do that maybe once a week, I don't know. <clears throat> and just maybe some other series, you know, just from different um, games as well. Because, you know, playing a coaster is the main thing on the channel. But, you know, I kind of want to get into some other stuff too. Um, just for your guys' enjoyment. And that would be kind of neat as well. So, <coughs> excuse me. Anyways, I make like the um, these side pieces or these, they're more like a, um, a sidewalk leading up to like the different shops that are going to be here so there's going to be like a lot of shops 
Again, it's going to be kind of close to King's Island a little bit, but these shops are going to look very, very interesting. At least that's my goal. And I actually tried to start building one of them in this episode, and it didn't work out. I didn't like how it was looking, so I ended up just deleting it. So this last, like, part of this episode is literally um, just a waste of time, kind of. Uh, me trying to build a building that I was unsatisfied with. And uh, that's kind of sad. It kind of sucks. But... At the same time, I kind of learn a little bit like, you know, if I don't like something, I don't have to keep it. You know, I can just delete it. And that's one thing that I kind of learned in here. And I tried this rough concrete wall. I thought it'd be kind of something different, but I really did not like it. Like the look of it, I did not care for it at all. And then <coughs> again, this this last part, I like completely almost pretty much get this building done. And I'm, uh, at one point, I'm just like, I don't like this building at all. So... I ended up just getting rid of it and moving on and trying something different. So that was kind of uh, something that's a, that, that was a little bit interesting. So, um, so um, again, if you have a building you don't like, just get rid of it. Don't don't go through with it. You know, you don't have to go through with it. You can you know you can do something else with it rather than try and make it look better. Like I was starting to like try and like doing everything I can to make this look good decent. And I, at the end, I was just like, it's not worth it. I don't like it. I don't want to do this. I'm just going to delete the building and uh, try again, maybe next episode or something like that. So, um, yeah. So, again, this this video was kind of more like trial and error a lot and a lot of deleting of things I didn't really want. And I felt like the episode was a little sloppy in a way. So, um, I'm going to try and get back on track next, next time. Uh, so... Uh, we're gonna go back into the entrance plaza just finish everything up there i don't want to make i want to make sure that um <coughs> everything's to my liking and detailed as much as i want and that it's it's as best as it can be and that's going to be the main thing so anyways make sure you comment like and subscribe for more content like this i hope you guys enjoyed the episode and uh we'll be um seeing you guys really really soon in the near near future let me guys know again what you think i want to hear your guys' thoughts i love hearing your guys' feedback what i need to work on and different things like that it makes me a much better creator of uh, in playing a coaster and i appreciate all the feedback you guys are great uh with uh constructive criticism and i love hearing all that so um at the same time i'm like uh i think i'm better now i'm like uh, and then i'm like uh no maybe they're right so anyways Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I will catch you guys next time. So, with all that being said, and bye-bye building, by the way, <laughs> make sure you have a great day and an even cooler tomorrow, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye. <laughs>